Hello there, YouTube. A very Merry Christmas to you and a Happy New Year from everyone here at Lorraine. It's been some year, 2017, hasn't it? We've had so many fantastic guests, plenty of laughs and some really heartwarming stories. So here are some of my favourite moments. I do remember when Nick and Miriam Clegg talked openly about their teenage son's cancer diagnosis. Thankfully, he's been given the all clear. But when you are told that, mm. when the, the, the word cancer mm. is, is said in connection with your child, yeah. I can't even begin to imagine what that's like. Yeah, well, it's like a sort of word bomb, isn't it? So, yes. but, but, certainly if you're unfamiliar with it, as, as we were. And um, your, your initial reaction, I think we found, was like any mum or dad. You just... It's irrational, but you just have this almost physical wish to try and take it off your kid and take it yourself. The kind of sequence of, of feelings that you typically have is the, the why. You want to understand, but we don't know why. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you go to the... Why me? Why why my son? And then you have the, the the phase where you go through the the guilt. Have I done something wrong? And then you want to do something, and, and eventually you realise that there is not so much that you can do as as a parent. The only thing that you can do is is to be there. We we do realise how incredibly lucky we are, both with the fact that the treatment has mm. has worked and how how well he seems. Now. No, but, but the things that you see in the in the hospital, honestly, mm. the, the children with with other more serious conditions that perhaps the treatment is not working, the, the parents who, who struggle, uh, you know, it's, it's a lesson in humility, really. Also, interviewing the legend that is Barbara Knox, who, of course, is queen of Coronation Street, played Rita for over 45 years now. You and your character, the heart of the street. You'll Would be you... sacked for saying that, I'm not. <laughs> no, you are. I'm just a number. No, you aren't, though. Honestly, well, Barbara, you're I'll not. do your show again, thank you very much. <laughs> she said to me, Rita, why do you drink vodka? I said, so when I came in the street, uh, Pat Phoenix drank, as ladies did, gin and tonic. Yes. That was her tipple. So I, I just thought, well, I can't drink gin and tonic. What can I drink? So I said to the props, do you have a bottle of vodka? Mm. And they said, no, but we'll get you a bottle of vodka. <laughs> And that's how it started. Oh, right. Please tell me you're not going anywhere, that you will be in the street forever. Well, that's very kind of you to ask. <laughs> but I would like to keep working. Oh, I always. really would. I, I, it is marvellous. It's stimulating. You get fed up, you get tired. Uh, and yet, at the end of the day, you go, oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. That's mm. wonderful to work. So I would like to. Oh, I think you should, because you're wonderful to watch. And it just wouldn't be the same without you. It wouldn't. The queen of the street, it would be ridiculous. You might as well just board it up I'm and toddle off. I'm never going to dare show my face <laughs> till next year, the queen of the street. As well as that, getting Craig David for my birthday. He was my very special birthday surprise. He was born to do it. Can the mystery guest please reveal himself? When the class ain't bought, oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, I thought you were away. I didn't think you were here. Right. Oh, Baby, thank birthday. you. Oh my goodness me. I'm so happy to be well, here with you. Surprise. Come, come, come. Thank you. Come on over. <laughs> oh, good to see you. Thank oh, you so much. Lovely. I Lori, had, happy birthday. I just didn't think you were here though, love. I thought you were away doing wonderful things. Mm -hmm. We put all that aside when it's your, when it's your you? birthday. <laughs> no, it's genuinely, to be here on your birthday. Or live on TV oh, with you. Craig. It's amazing. See, last time I saw Craig, I was in a nightclub and it was what, four in the morning? <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, you like you you've got this Benjamin Button thing going on. You're getting younger and younger, <laughs> genuinely. Well, there you are. Those were some of my favourite moments from this year. Here's hoping that we get plenty more of them next year. See you in 2018.